Hi everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I got this dramatic makeup look right here. Originally, I wanted to do something like bright and dramatic for spring, but I've been dying to use this lip color in a tutorial ever since I swatched it in my previous video. So I decided to do a dark brown shimmer slash copper smoky eye, and then I paired it with this dark brown lip. And the best part about this whole look is I did a full face routine with all cruelty-free products. So I was really pleasantly surprised that a lot of my favorite brands were on the cruelty free list. So if you guys want to learn how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. To start off this look, I am priming my face with my NYX pore filler. I'm applying it in a downwards motion all over my face. I originally wanted to film this video and do a talk through and chat with you guys, but since that echo is unbearable for some of you, I figured doing a voiceover was better. I did get a new mic and I've been putting blankets down until I get my couch and everything for that room, so bear with me. For foundation, I'm using the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation. I'm mixing N40 and G30, kind of like in between those shades, so when I mixed them, it came out to be like a perfect color. This is my first time using this foundation and I actually really loved it. It covers really nice. To blend in my foundation, I'm using my Sigma F80 brush. I do have a 10% off code which I will list below for you guys. Sigma uses synthetic hair for their brushes and they're amazing so I just wanted to point that out. To blend it in a little bit further, I'm just using a damp beauty blender. I've been watching my mom's cats for the whole weekend so there's lots of fuzz in this one. Do you ever get like those like clear fuzzies and you feel it on your face and you just don't know where it is and it's the worst thing ever? I feel like that happens to me every single day now that I have cats. Next to contour my nose, I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toast. I'm applying this on the tip of my nose to make it look shorter, and then I'm applying it down the sides of my nose. I always draw the lines closer together than where my actual nose is, and that just makes it appear more narrow. Then I'm just blending everything in with my finger, smudging it to make it look more natural. Obviously right now it looks silly, but in a little bit you'll see it'll all come together nicely. Next, I'm applying concealer. I am using by Kat Von D the Locket Concealer in Light, and I am just applying this with my Beauty Blender underneath my eyes, and I'm dragging it down in an upside down triangle. Whatever concealer is left on my Beauty Blender, I am applying that on my eyelids as well, just because I have some discoloration. We want it all one color. I'm taking a little bit more of that concealer with my finger, and I'm applying it right on the bridge of my nose just to highlight it a little bit, and then I'm just blending it in with my Beauty Blender. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Sunday Riley Translucent Powder in the color Light, and I'm first blending out my creases underneath my eyes with my Beauty Blender, and then I'm going in with the powder with the Sigma brush, and I'm just applying a decent amount, and I like to do this because it really helps prevent those wrinkles from forming under my eyes. So I am just rubbing my eyes to get whatever creases were on my eyes as well, and then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going over that to kind of set it so I don't get those eye creases. Whenever I'm doing a full glam look, this is something that I always like to do. I am using the Kat Von D foundation powder, and I'm using this small Sigma brush, and I'm just patting it under my eyes. It just gets rid of any darkness, and it just really brightens up your face, which I absolutely love doing. Yes, it's a little bit extra, and you don't need to do this. If you want something a little lighter, you can just use your translucent powder and apply it wherever you apply your concealer. To set my nose contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using the grayer tone and this smaller tapered brush, and I am just going right over those lines, and it's going to give it a little bit more of like a cooler undertone, which is going to make it look more like a shadow, which in turn will make it look more real. Then going in with brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to shape them, and then to fill them in, I'm using the Brow Bar To Go by Gerard Cosmetics. I do have a 35% off code for all of the products on that site, so again, I will list all of that below. For eyes, I'm using the Anastasia Single Shadow in the color Fawn with this large blending brush from Sigma, and I'm just blending that right into the crease of my eye. You only need a little bit. These shadows are super pigmented, so just start with a little bit, and then you can always work it in.
Next up, I'm picking up the color Sienna, also by Anastasia, and I'm using the same brush, and I'm just applying that also in my crease, just not as high as I did the previous color. This is going to give it a really pretty copper look. So like I said earlier, I did plan on doing something bright for spring, but I don't know, I just wanted to do something like with browns and copper tones today. So that is how that ended up happening. Next I'm grabbing the color Millionaire by ColourPop, which is such a beautiful color. Like, do you see how sparkly this is? I just wet my brush a little bit with the setting spray by Gerard just to give it a little bit more pigment so I don't have to use so much and it's not gonna fall out on my eyes. But I just absolutely love this color. It's so beautiful and it's only $5, which is just ridiculous. If you click on my link below, I get you guys a $5 off code. So definitely go check out their site because they have some amazing products. The next shade I'm using is called Thirsty Girl and it's also by ColourPop. I didn't realize until I was editing that this color was a limited edition so they no longer have it but you could just use that one color and I think this look would be perfect but this is just going to add a little bit of like a golden brown on top of it. Just more shimmer, more sparkles but you can just double up on that previous shadow and it'll look just as good. The next color I'm picking up is Fudge and I am using a smaller blending brush and I'm applying this right on the outer V of my eye. We don't want to bring this color up too high, we want to keep it just in the outer V because it's going to give a lot of dimension to your eyes and just help make your eyes look bigger as well. And again, remember, a little bit goes a long way, so just start with a little bit and keep blending it and then adding color as you go. So I just realized when I do my voiceover, I have to talk with my hands, otherwise I feel like too robotic. So I'm sitting here like flailing my hands around. I'm just picking up that larger blending brush. I wiped it off beforehand to make sure there was no product on it, and then I'm just blending everything out to make sure it looks perfect. For liner, I'm using by Kat Von D the ink liner in the color Hemingway. It's like a dark, dark brown, and I figured since I was sticking with the browns today, I always, always use black, so I figured I would try a nice brown liner, and I actually really, really liked it. It didn't look much different, but I do love how it came out. So for lashes, I am using by Red Cherry the Wispy Lashes, the WSP, and then I have to try a new mascara. I am switching over to all cruelty-free products. I have yet to try enough mascaras to really find a new favorite, so I'm trying the Better Than Sex one by Too Faced. I like it, I don't love it, but again, I'm going to have to try a bunch of these without any lashes on to get my true opinion. Then I'll let you guys know which is like my favorite, favorite cruelty-free mascara. I'm going back in with Sienna and a pencil brush and I'm applying this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going in with the shade Henna and I'm applying that right in the center to give it a little bit of sparkle. Then I'm grabbing my Carly Bible palette because it's vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. And I am picking up the second highlight shade to highlight underneath my brows and also in my tear ducts. Just wanted to let you guys know that there's only how many more days left of April, but this palette is gonna go up to $14.50 on May 1st. So I just wanted to remind you guys again, if you didn't get it for the $12.50 yet, you have a few more days or I think at least another week until it goes up. So make sure you head over to BH right now. I'll link it below and Make sure you get it for $12.50 because it's such a steal. Then I'm going back in with my Shade and Light palette and I'm bronzing up my face.
For blush, I'm using one of my favorites by NYX. It's the Baked Blush in the color Wanderlust, and it's a really pretty peach color. So I'm applying that with my Morphe blush brush. This is literally my favorite brush ever, and it's so affordable. It's perfect for blush, and it's also perfect to just blend everything in. So I'm just picking Foundation up a little bit powder, powder, and, and I'm just doing circular motions all over my face just to kind of blend out any of the harsh lines and just make it all flow really nicely. Then I'm going back in with the highlighter and I'm going down the bridge of my nose and I'm also applying the little dot on the tip of my nose. I'm taking a little bit of that highlight shade and I'm applying it on my cheekbones. I don't know why, but I haven't been loving extra highlight on the cheeks. I feel like it makes my pores look bigger. I don't know, maybe when I get a little bit of a tan with the warmer weather, I'll pull out the highlighter. But for now, I'm just gonna do a little bit right at the top. For lips, I am using True Brown K by Kylie Cosmetics. Ever since I did that swatch video, I absolutely loved how the brown looked, which I was so surprised because when I had seen it originally, I was like, I don't think I would look good with that, nor do I think I would ever wear it, but I absolutely love it and I think it's so beautiful. And I know it screams fall and winter, but I mean, you can really wear it any time of the year. There's no restrictions with makeup. Then I'm lining my inner lash line with this dark brown ColourPop liner, which is also only $5. And I'm applying that in the lower lash line and then a little bit right in the inner corners just to make the lashes look more natural. And then to finish off this whole makeup look, I am using the Gerard Setting Spray in the lavender flavor. It smells delicious. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So this is the final result. It's super dramatic, but I absolutely love how it came out. I am going out tonight, so I'm just gonna leave my makeup like this. I may switch up the lip color because it's a little bit more of a casual night, but we'll see. Make sure to comment below and let me know what videos you guys wanna see next week, whether you want more makeup tutorials or spring fashion haul, which I think I'm gonna do that for sure next week. And maybe I'll do a try on haul included with it since I usually just show you guys the pieces. Definitely comment below and let me know if that's what you guys want to see. So I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later.